Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam. How are you? Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. So um, Tom Hanks, the actor, has said that, of course, of course you bloody know he's an actor. He has said that um, he is, uh, he's going to produce movies even when he's dead. So he talked about this AI thing and how that was going to enable him to produce movies and still star in movies where he himself doesn't actually have to be physically present. And of course, when he crosses over to his ancestors, okay, he's going to continue to make money. Now I thought, well, wow, that's, that's um, amazing. But uh, what about Jamie Foxx? You see, the point of the matter is, if we're, we are, have been led to believe that Jamie Foxx um, had some kind of mysterious incident that caused him to end up in hospital in Atlanta while he was filming um, the movie, okay, with Cameron Diaz, etc. cetera. Uh, and then we heard it was touch and go and this type of thing and and Jamie's family are preparing for the you know they're prepared for the worst and all this type of stuff we heard a whole bunch of stuff but all of this how we were alerted to this was because his daughter came out and asked for prayers and privacy okay now I've done the readings and Jamie has been duplicated he has been taken apart like the bionic man that I mentioned to one of the subbies, I think Madame Kelly, and he has been put back together again. But some of the put back has not been going back in properly, as I demonstrated quite uh, <laughs> hilariously in the last video that I did. Okay. So we have a situation now where it is said that Jamie is recovering and uh, he's playing pickleball and all kinds of stuff after this mystery illness. And he is now in a rehab place in Chicago. That is the story. So bearing in mind what, uh, what's his name? <clears throat> the Forrest Gump guy said. <laughs> yeah, bearing in mind what he said, do they have the same plans for Jamie Foxx? Okay. See, because the thing is, if he's not fully functioning in the technological sense and or the brain sense, which is basically going to be the same because he has now been cloned, or maybe the real Jamie is somewhere kind of, I don't know, in, as I said before, maybe, you know, in water or jelly, I don't know, however, whatever it is. And then we have this one that is controlled via new cells, new DNA, some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of, what do you call it, Wizard of Oz somewhere that's programming him with all the, and updating him as well. There's another bloody thing. Y'all who have Apple phones and stuff like that, don't you have to download new stuff every bloody minute, don't you? Hmm? <laughs> Those of you who have Android phones have to update stuff every minute, don't you? Yeah. So the point of the matter is, you always got to upgrade this and that and whatever. Okay. So it's going to be a constant reworking of this thing, a constant rewiring, a constant upgrading of what it, whatever technology is placed in Jamie. Now, that's not the issue. I'm thinking about the money. Okay. Now, I do have some cards here. This is the Tower of the Haunted House. I'm going to do a reading for entertainment purposes only. But who's in control of his assets? And if he is going to be producing things, there's going to be an AI of him producing movies and still starring in shows and things like that. And where's, who's going to get, where does the check go to? Who gets money? If he's laid up or if he's playing pickleball in rehab. Because we have not seen Jamie. Where is Jamie? Where is Jamie? Where is Jamie? Where is Jamie? We ain't seen, we don't want to see his daughter, as beautiful as she is. As pretty as Corinne is, we don't want to see her. Where your daddy at? Girl, where your daddy at? 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 Where your daddy at
your daddy at? Where he at? Where is he? Where's Jamie? We ain't seen any other family members there. We seen, look here. Again, we're still not falling for the okie doke. We've not seen Jamie. And though the story has died down, we still ain't seen him. Not a picture, no video, no audio, no nothing. And, and the people that have turned up at the hospital, who have they seen? Well, the, the rehab place, who have they seen? Have they laid eyes on him? Have they had to sign something to say they can't talk about him? This is all very, very fishy. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember what happened in Las Vegas with Lamar Odom? Do you remember? This was about five or seven years ago, or six years ago. Lamar Odom was divorced from Khloe Kardashian at that time, and they found him in a cat house a house of ill repute in Las Vegas. And he had a medical emergency. It was so bad that even his father just went straight there to the hospital. The hospital was on Sun, it was Sunrise Hospital. You gonna ask me how I know? I was across the road in the Denny's. That's how I know. I was there when the Kardashians arrived, all dressed in black. I was there across the road, Denny's. I can't tell you what the intersection is. It's Sunrise, Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas. Is it Sunrise and Marilyn Parkway? That's where he was. And they all came there dressed in black, looking like witches, ready to see a dead body or whatever. Of course, it wasn't reported that he was dead, but it was reported that he was in a grave, grave situation. The man saw God God said he ain't ready for him yet. It's all right, you stay. You got some work to do. Hmm? Lamar has just opened up a chain of uh, rehab places in Las Vegas. I can I can understand. He's, he must be grateful for the medical care that he received because it was touch and go with him. How do I know? I was there. Where were the paparazzi? Outside the hospital and in Denny's, where your Auntie Sam was. Now, of course, none of you bloody well believe me, but who cares? But I'm just telling you, that's what happened. So all of this, where's Jamie? Where's Jamie? You see, we saw Lamar when he was coming out of the hospital. We saw him. We saw him when he was stretched in, and we saw him when he came out. <laughs> but we ain't seen Jamie. We ain't seen hide nor hair of Jamie. We ain't seen one little of the nothing. We ain't seen a little hair, beard, not a thing. Not a thing. We not see Jamie. We not see a thing. Nothing. Nothing. So who are we supposed to believe? Lion asked TMZ. His daughter, who moved kind of digi, she moved kind of digi, kind of funny, kind of spooky. Who are we supposed to believe? Ain't nobody come out and say shit about Jamie. Anyhow, Tom Hanks, I was trying to remember his name a little while ago, he said he gonna make big money off a book of money, plenty money. Mucho dinero off of putting himself, making an AI of himself, lots of them doing lots and lots of movie, choosing lots and lots of movie, and he don't have to do shit. He can stay at home and let the AI do the work. So if it's, this is going to be the same case for Jamie, <laughs> I need water, then who the hell going to get all that money? Because I'll hold up a book of money. And who gets the pickable money? <laughs> Will we ever see Jamie again? Ask yourself that question. 
Why are we waiting? This is serious enough. This is very serious. Let me pull some cards. Six of Wands here. Jamie's daughter. This card came up for Riley Kyo. I have to say the energy is kind of similar. Card. Ace of Cups came up before in a reading for Jamie. I'll show you the cards in a second. Another card. Oh. The hangman. Sacrifice energy. So the work hasn't stopped yet. Things are still incomplete with Jamie. There has to be more sacrifice. There's more sacrifice energy here going on before we get to this new beginning. This is a new beginning, but. And here we have the science and technology energy right here in this full moon. And we see this water falling into the hands. It's a lot of water and a big new beginning. A new Jamie. He's not ready to be launched yet because there has to be another sacrifice made. Now, the perspective energy on here, the, the, the scientists having to think of something, the trial and error, the experimenting energy is still very much present here. What we have is bones, okay? So in terms of the flesh, in terms of little things, the logistics, things that make a difference. Like if I came on here and I suddenly had white skin, why is, you see, DJ Twitch energy coming up again? DJ Twitch's energy is coming up again because in those readings, it was discovered that the person who, disclaimer, is responsible for the death of DJ Twitch, the DJ and dancer from the Ellen DeGeneres show, that he, disclaimer, was deleted by somebody who had on some kind of mask, like a silicone mask, and that on top of that, this person had makeup on top of the mask, giving them the appearance of a white person, a white man. So for all intents and purposes, before DJ Twitch got to the hotel room, a white man had entered the hotel, picked up the card for the room, gone into the room, and was there before DJ Twitch. This is the same energy on this sacrifice card and also having the logistics. Skin tone, shape of eyebrows, nose, the shape of the lips, the, the, the chin, skin color, tone, any blemishes, patches, tattoos and stuff that he had. All of that has to be replicated. Something hasn't been done. There has to be more, there's more sacrifice energy. Now, I don't know if this, what they need, what the scientist needs, a bit like when somebody needs a kidney. They have to look at a family member, right? So I don't know. This is just psychobabble conjecture mumbo jumbo. But they need something from someone to make up, to put some flesh on these bones. And for that, they have to think out the box. You know when you stand on your head? There's a lot to the hangman card. When you stand on your head, you see things differently, don't you? Don't you? You stand on your head, every, and you look at things. Everything looks different. You start to notice things that you hadn't noticed before. The scientists are having to think out the box on this one. This is a very expensive clone. Very expensive. The more time, you see, and they're going to make their money off of this on the back end. When you invest it, there's plenty of money in scientific research and cloning facilities. Of course there is. Now, he's rehabbing, so they say. But you don't know where he is. 
don't know that he's in that place in Chicago. Anybody see him go in or come out? Huh? Anybody? We ain't seen nothing. We're not seeing nothing. What color are my nails? If I tell you they're orange, they're orange, they're orange, they're orange, they're orange. I keep telling you that for the next three days. You can say they're orange. Some of you are going to say, I'm falling for your shit, Miss Sam. They're black nails. I can see them. They're black. They're black like this. They're black like they're black. Bliggity black, black, black. I'm falling for it. Well, this is the same thing that they're trying to <laughs> claim. The same thing. This is the same thing they're trying to do with, with um, Jamie. He all right. He played pickleball, but yet we ain't seen him. We don't know where he is. Now, some people might say, well, it's none of your damn business, Miss Sam. It's not, none of nobody's business. They have a right to privacy. When you put shit out there, you ain't got no right to privacy. His daughter asked for prayers. So what are we praying for? What are we praying for? We're just supposed to pray for random stuff so that it can bounce back onto us and we don't know where we are praying for. That might be how some people get done. But me not pray for mystery things. Me need to know where me are praying for. Do you get me? I don't understand. We not pray for just random little, little, little things for them things to come catch me. And that's some real talk. Too many people say, oh, we got to pray for this person, we got to pray for that. Who are you to pray for anybody who don't want to give people crosses? <laughs> you understand that. And not everybody can pray for everybody. And when you have the best of intentions, we pray for somebody, somebody, because you love them or you're a fan. You got to know what you're praying for. <laughs> Remind me of when people go to church. Oh, let us let the people on the sick and shut in list. Let us pray or whatever. Let us pray for sister and son. Sister and son has been in a very unfortunate situation. We must pray for strength for him and pray for the mother. I'm pray for the household. I'm pray for I'm pray and make the, make the situation and the stress leave them. This time we don't know that we're praying for Sister Anson and he's there on a triple murder charge. <laughs> or the boy abused somebody. Or Sister Anna herself involved in a some bangarang and the song get kitsch when I really she. Mrs. <laughs> so the point of the matter is, you have to know what you're praying for, okay? And they ain't said nothing to us about Jamie until they came out and said the little wee statement and then drew back in, put their head back into the shell like a snail would draw its head back into the, the and we tap into the shell for the snail head to come out and it no one come out. TMZ printing a whole thing. These are all the pictures of Jamie from the beginning of his career to the end of it. Like, hell? Oh, the family are preparing for the worst. Then all of a sudden, the next day, oh, he's been out from he's been out for weeks, weeks. He's been playing pickleball. Exclamation mark. Who? What did we miss? So, the point of this video, disclaimer, is to take a jolly little look, just a jolly little wee look, at who gonna get the man's money if they start making AI stuff with him. And let this be a lesson to some of the actors out there. It's, a very, it's very deep. I went swimming, but the waters were too deep. Betty Wright sang that song. There ain't a soul around.
to rescue me. I didn't see no kind of wall inside. Okay? Because I'm in deep water now. Hollywood actors, you got to find your way somehow. Oh, you better backstroke, backstroke. <laughs> oh, Lord. Big up Betty Wright, Queen of Miami. Oh, boy. <laughs> boy. I don't mind sharing you all the way, 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 way. but you got to share me too. <laughs> Anyhow, this reading and chat has been about Jamie Foxx and AI and how they probably, when he's ready, when he's complete, when he's ready to go, when they switch him on, who gonna make all that money? 